Hey guys, it's Lucia. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be doing a what's in my work bag. It's a little bit heavy, not going to lie. I'm excited to show you guys everything that I keep in my work bag to have a successful day. If you're new here, I'm Lucia. I'm 23. I live in Chicago and I work a 9 to 5 in marketing. And I don't go into the office all the time, maybe like once or twice a week. But when I do, I make sure that my work bag is properly packed to the brim with everything I could possibly need for the entire day because there's nothing worse than your phone dying, you have to go back, you're hungry, you don't have enough food or anything like that. There's so many things that can happen in an office, as we all know. Sometimes it can feel very like corporate and like the fluorescent lighting and you just need your stuff so you can feel like a little bit more at home and not as overwhelmed. At least that's how I feel about it. I'm so glad you're here. Subscribe if you haven't yet. I post new videos every Sunday and Wednesday. I always do like work week in my life vlogs too. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and let's just get into it. So this is the work bag that I use. It's a Louis Vuitton never full MM size. I got this as a gift for graduation. I probably wouldn't spend this much money on a work bag but i mean i do wear it every day so honestly the cost per wear is probably like i was gonna say five cents i honestly don't know i'm not a math girl but <laughs> i think it's good to invest maybe not this much but invest in some sort of tote bag that you really like that you feel like goes with a lot of your outfits i feel like it's a nice like neutral color that goes a lot with like anything that i'm wearing but i like it it's very classic so first things first my laptop of course we got a Dell boy from my corporate job and obviously the laptop charger. Oh my God, my self tanner. I just self tanned last night, so it's a little bad over there, but you know, it's okay. Sometimes I honestly don't bring my laptop charger because the way that the desks work at my office, if you plug into the monitor situation, it'll charge your laptop as you're working. So it just depends. Like if I have a bunch of meetings and conference rooms, I'll bring my laptop charger because I won't be by my monitor the whole day. But if I don't have a lot of meetings, then I just won't bring my charger because it's one less thing to carry and things get heavy really fast, especially as I'm like commuting and I just, we want to keep our shoulders nice and healthy. So I try to make everything as light as possible. Next is a hydro flask. I love it. My office does have like plastic cups that I can use throughout the day, but obviously we want to be as sustainable as possible. So I try to bring my own water bottle when I remember and when I can. I love this hydro flask. I'll link it down below because it has a straw and I feel like whenever I drink from a straw, I just drink more water throughout the day. I don't know if there's a science behind that, but that's just how I feel. So I fill this up a few times a day. I just like how it looks very sleek. I'm still in the hydro flask kind of vibe of things. I never got the Stanley cup. I also feel like a stanley cup in a work bag probably wouldn't work as well because it doesn't seal all the way but you do you whatever water bottle you want obviously <laughs> hydration is extremely important next i bring my journal so i try to journal every single morning before i leave for the office but if i forget i just like to have this in here to jot down any notes i also use it if i need a pen and paper during any business meetings i'll just use this and sometimes if i have like a moment to myself throughout the day or if like i'm really stressed i like to just like write down some affirmations because that's just really helps me get through the day. So I have this little journal. It's also from Amazon. I can link it down below. Yeah, it's just good to have. I also bring my Kindle. Right now I'm reading The Subtle Art of Not Giving Enough, but honestly, I might just move on to another book because this one isn't really my vibe, but I'm like half of the way done. It's it's pretty good. I might finish it. I don't know. Anyway, tangent. So I would like to read in public transportation on the way to work. I feel like sometimes it's just like, if you're in Chicago or any major city, you probably know, like sometimes it's just, it's so packed. Like I can barely pull out my phone and I'm like packed like sardines. So on the off chance that I can read this in the commute or if I want to read during my lunch break. I just like having the Kindle just in case I have some spare time to read at all. It's better than scrolling through Instagram during my lunch break and I would always rather have it if I need it than not have it and I want it. Okay, next is a phone charger. Very important. I feel like my phone just always runs out of battery throughout the workday. I end up using it for a lot of calls just because the connecting through my phone is better than my laptop for my microphone. And yeah, the battery just goes down like crazy all day. So I always bring a charger. Lunch. So I'm obsessed with these little Tupperwares from Amazon. I just think they're like really chic and sleek and they stack in the fridge really nicely. They're microwavable. I have a microwave in my office. So normally for lunch, I'll just bring like leftovers. Like this is some bonza pasta that I made last night. So I'll just bring this and heat it up in the microwave there. Also, I'm just lucky, but my office has a lot of different snacks. So if I want popcorn, to go with it or a bubbly chocolate i just kind of raid the cabinets over there but i am gluten-free so i have to be mindful of like bringing enough gluten-free snacks so usually i'll also bring like a granola bar an rx bar just in case i get like randomly hungry throughout the day and it's not time for lunch yet or i don't have time to go like heat up my thing and i just want to eat this silently in a meeting then i'll bring like an rx bar sometimes a banana too just like different snacks that i have around the apartment and then lastly i have this like little kind of i guess to go kit it's kind of like a little toiletry box and here I just kind of keep like to-go things 
always in this bag so i don't have to worry about like getting it together every day for the work day so in here i have my company id because if i don't keep it in here i will literally always forget it i have a tampon just in case of emergency obviously if it's like that time of the month i'll bring more tampons and just like put them in a ziploc bag in my bag but you guys get it i have a little deodorant just because especially in the summer i get sweaty during the work day and i just especially if i have a happy hour after i'm like i need to reapply some deodorant at the end of the day maybe i'm just sweaty maybe that's just me i have these kleenexes not gonna lie i've never really used these because they have kleenex at the office but it just makes me feel better i feel like the second i take these out they're gonna be like out of kleenexes one day and i'm gonna be freaking out <laughs> i have this little zip Love bag with like these little floss picks that I also get from Amazon or if you just like use regular floss I just really like using floss picks because they're easier So I have a little ziploc bag of that because I feel like so many times when i'm eating during lunch I get something stuck in my teeth and I have no way how to get it out And I have a happy hour after and I just don't want to seem like all gross and stuff. I have this little Purell Wipe that I think they gave me on like some flight. I don't know. I just keep it in here for good measure I also have these little to-go advil liquid gels just in case I get a headache I honestly feel like that happens to me a lot in the office just because like the fluorescent lighting I forget to drink enough water even though I really try to yeah, these are really really handy I bring a little makeup wipe just in case you never know if i'm like rushing back to get to a workout class And I just want to take my makeup off in the train or like when i'm walking I feel like this is just helpful to have I have a little makeup sponge that I carry this one is used I need to update it with a clean one but yeah i feel like sometimes my makeup just like throughout the day gets really creasy or it just gets messed up and sometimes i just want to blend things out a little bit more especially under my eye i feel like it gets really just like creases there and stuff and can get dry i have a pin this is another advil oh concealer so this is kind of like my old concealer i just keep it in here all the time for good measure because i feel like yeah sometimes my makeup just gets messed up throughout the day and it just feels nice to be able to touch it up there were a couple of experiences in the beginning of when i started going into the office where like i would go to the bathroom and look at myself in the mirror and be like oh my god my makeup is like so messed up right now so i just learned to bring concealer and sometimes i can just like lightly fix things up a little bit especially again if i have like a happy hour or something i have to go to after because i just feel like even though i mean really what i look like doesn't matter in my line of work like i'm not a model or like an actor and even if i was other people would be putting concealer on me i just feel like it helps me feel more confident if i feel put together it's just like for my confidence and i feel like when i'm confident i put my best foot forward at work so the key is concealer <laughs> and then i have just like a little hair tie in here just in case i don't know sometimes i just get really tired of having my hair down or i get really hot and i'm like i need to put it up it's just always helpful to have and that's everything that i keep in this little bag all the time it's really easy to just keep everything in here so that you never have to worry about like packing all of this stuff you just know that it's always going to be in your bag let me know if you think there's anything i'm missing too because i'm always open to new ideas okay so that's everything in this bag and then in this like little pouch that i have so like in the never full there's basically just one zippered pocket within the tote bag so if you like a lot of organization maybe a different bag is better for you i know base has some really good bags there's a lot of different tote bags you can choose but in this pouch I keep my airpods. I've recently been converted to airpods and like i'm actually obsessed the noise canceling feature on these is Perfect for the office because I feel like there's just always people like around you and desks on calls or the train is going by and it's really loud It just it really helps me stay focused because I get so distracted when i'm in the office by like people talking and like I just I get so distracted So honestly like the noise canceling feature in these helps my productivity tenfold Okay, then I obviously have my driver's license and my credit card Which i'm not going to show you for obvious reasons, but I keep that in there sunglasses Especially in the summer in chicago. These are from amazon. I love them <laughs> They're like $10. And then I have my keys. I have this fun little Northwestern keychain. And then I also have this Chicago keychain from the Color Factory. I have a lot of chapstick because when I forget chapstick during a work day, it's the worst. I, especially because I'm on Accutane right now. So like my lips get really dry. But even when I wasn't, I remember one day over the summer, I forgot my chapstick and I was this close to like going to CVS and buying chapstick. It's the worst, so I always make sure to have enough chapstick. I use this Aquaphor lip balm, and then I use Dr. Dan's Cordobom because I'm on Accutane, so like these are really intense treatments for chapped lips. Might even just reapply right now. But yeah, this is a must. When I forget chapstick, it's an awful day in paradise. A couple more pins just for good measure. Honestly, might take one of those out. And then another important thing is hand lotion. My office for some reason doesn't have any hand lotion in the bathroom and my hands just get really dry, especially in the Chicago winter after I wash them. So I just like to keep this 
hand balm around me. I just get them from Bath and Body Works. Honestly, like my mom every year for Christmas gifts me these little Bath and Body Works hand creams and matching hand sanitizers, which reminds me, I don't have hand sanitizer in my bag, but I definitely need that. So I'll grab that. So I just have an unlimited supply of these like Bath and Body Works ones, but I'm sure there's other ones you could get just like on Amazon or at like Target or something, but. Yeah, I love these. Okay, so that reminded me of a couple things actually. My hand sanitizer, again, it's from Bath & Body Works. It says, root for each other. <laughs> um, it's good, it's good. And then for breakfast, I like to bring a little pre-packaged overnight oats. If I'm being honest, I really try to just make breakfast here before I go and like have a slow morning, work out, make an avocado bagel, like journal and all that stuff. But sometimes that's just not realistic. I'm like rushing to get out the door and just having these in my fridge. These are mush overnight oats. I also like the ones from Trader Joe's. Those are really good. It's so easy to just like throw in your bag. It's not the cheapest, I guess, alternative to breakfast. It's probably like two or three dollars per thing, but it's a lot cheaper than having to go stop to get a bagel or stop to get egg bites from Starbucks or something. So I I love having these in my fridge as a little tip to bring in for breakfast. And if your work doesn't have utensils there, like mine does, just bring your own little spoon, maybe stock up on like a reusable kind of spoon that you can bring every day. That would be really cool. And then also last but not least, pepper spray. It's just good to always have on you as a girl living in a big city. Okay, my bag is empty now, but that's everything that I typically keep in my work tote on a work day or even just a long coffee shop day or any time that I'm working and bringing this bag with me for an extended period of time. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know if there's anything that you think I missed or that you would add. I'll link everything that I can down below that I mentioned in this video for you to shop if you want to and let me know if you have any questions or ideas i think it would be fun if we all shared like our favorite little work day protein bar or snack in the comments to give each other inspo i honestly feel like <laughs> a granola protein bar connoisseur sometimes i love trying new ones it's like wine so giving each other all the recs is amazing i'm gluten free but maybe some of you aren't so you don't have to keep it gluten free yeah thanks so much for watching i will catch up with you guys in my next video subscribe so you don't miss it and i'll talk to you later bye